Congressman Michael McCall. He chairs the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Thanks so much for being with us. Oh, thanks, Gio. Thanks for having me. So the Israeli Defense Minister ordered a complete siege of the Gaza Strip. You and about 400 of your colleagues introduced this legislation showing support for Israel. What's in this bill? Well, let me say first, this is one of those moments that where we come together as Americans, both Republicans and Democrats. Uh, the ranking member Meeks and I introduced, we're going to introduce the bill today. We have over 400 co-sponsors, which uh, is almost unheard of, but it just shows our unity behind Israel and our condemnation of Hamas and this terror attack that occurred uh, last Saturday. Um, that's very important that the American people, through their representatives, express uh, this strong voice, you know, of supporting Israel and condemning what Hamas has done. Uh, the, the, uh, I got to tell you, the videos I've seen. I was in a, the the kibbutz village just uh, right on the border of Gaza last year, uh, meeting with the, the the Jewish people there, seeing the day case care center. And then to, to find out it was overrun by 70 Hamas terrorists and, and almost all of the, the people there were slaughtered. But most uh, inhumanely, the babies in the daycare center were killed and many were beheaded. Uh, this is, is sheer terror. It's evil and it cannot stand. Yeah, it's just absolutely horrifying. And, and of course, Congressman, the intention of this bill is to support Israel right now, but you also right now don't have a Speaker of the House. So, so what can be done? Well, I'm getting ready to walk over to our elections um, uh, after this interview. I hope we have a Speaker. We want to get this bill on the floor. Uh, and we're looking at ways by unanimous consent to get it on the floor. And then we also need to look at a supplemental package for Israel. What they need right now is to replenish the Iron Dome with intercepts. Uh, we need to provide them precision guided uh, missile weapon systems and also ammunition. Uh, that's what I've heard from the Israelis. That's what we heard today from the administration in our classified briefing. And we know Hamas has taken hostages, some of which are American. What's being done at this point to get those people home? So as you see the bombings occur right now in Gaza, that's to take out command and control. The next phase is going to be going house to house, not unlike Fallujah in 2004. This is going to be very dangerous because they use hostages as, as shields, if you will. These are Americans held hostage. These are uh, Jewish uh, Israelis being held hostage. Um, but we have a concerted effort working with Israel, uh, our special forces, our FBI hostage rescue team, to work with them to, to rescue them. Uh, there are probably about 100 hostages uh, right now in Gaza, and some of those are Americans. Uh, that has to be our highest priority. Yeah, we're, we're all praying for those hostages right now. Texas Congressman and Chairman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, Michael McCall. Sir, thank you so much for joining us for this important conversation. Thanks for having me. Thank you.